Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, pink uh, triangle uh, EFG fully confined uh, in a trapezoid ABCD, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this side length uh, AB is uh, 50 units, AD side length uh, is uh, 40 units, and finally, this uh, side length. Uh, CD is uh, 20 units and furthermore uh, this uh, segment uh, EB is equal to this segment uh, EC and this angle is uh, 90 degrees likewise this angle is 90 degrees and this one is 90 degrees as well and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, pink uh, triangle uh, EFG please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. In order to make our job easier, we are going to draw some auxiliary lines. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have drawn this uh, line uh, PD that is uh, parallel to this uh, line uh, BC. So therefore, uh, this segment uh, BP is going to be equal to this uh, side uh, CD. If this uh, side is uh, 20, then uh, this segment uh, BP is going to be 20 units as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, BP length is uh, 20 and this whole length uh, AB is uh, 50. So therefore, uh, this uh, segment uh, AP is going to be 50 minus 20 is going to give us uh, 30 as you can see over here. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle PAD whose uh, side lengths are uh, 30 and uh, 40. And now let's recall the Pythagorean triplets 3, 4, 5. And if I multiply these Pythagorean triplets by 10 uh, across the board, then our uh, new set of Pythagorean triplets is going to become 3 times 10 is going to give us 30, 4 times 10 is going to give us 40, and 5 times 10 is going to give us uh, 50. And now we can see our this uh, number is uh, 30, this number is uh, 40. So therefore, uh, this missing side length uh, PD is going to be 50 units. So therefore, our this line uh, PD is uh, 50 units, as you can see over here. So therefore, we conclude uh, this uh, line BC is going to be 50 units as well, as you can see over here. And now we know that uh, this uh, EB segment is equal to this uh, EC. So therefore, uh, this segment is going to be half of that. 50 is going to be 25 and likewise this is going to be 25 units as well. And here's our next step. Let's assume alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, the sum of these uh, two angles, alpha plus beta must be equal to 90 degrees. And now let's assume that this uh, angle is uh, alpha then this angle has got to be alpha as well they are corresponding angles since this angle is 90 degrees this angle is 90 degrees as well so therefore if this angle is uh, beta then this angle has got to be our angle beta as well so therefore we conclude that this uh, triangle uh, efb is uh, similar to this bigger right triangle uh, APD according to angle angle similarity theorem. So therefore we are going to have a proportion in other words the ratio of uh, FB and the uh, side length uh, EB is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, AP and DP and now we can see our uh, EB length uh, is uh, 25 so this is uh, 25 a p length uh, is this one is uh, 30 so i'm going to replace it by 30 
and finally dp length uh, is 50 so i'm going to replace this one by 50 over here as you can see in this uh, next step i have replaced eb by 25 ap length uh, by 30 and finally dp length uh, as 50 and now i'm going to multiply both sides by 25 to isolate uh, fb length and here we can see this 25 and 25 is gone so therefore our fb length uh, is going to be 15 units so therefore we conclude that this uh, tiny fb length uh, is going to be 15 units and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, efb whose side lengths are 15 and uh, 25 and now let's recall the pythagorean triplets so uh, once again 3 4 5 and if i multiply all these triplets by 5 uh, across the board then our new set of uh, these pythagorean triplets are going to be 3 times 5 is going to give us 15 4 times 5 is 20 and finally 5 times 5 is going to give us 25 and now we can see our side lengths are 15 and 25 so therefore this missing side length is going to be 20 units so therefore our this EF length turns out to be 20 units and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, pink uh, triangle uh, efg and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height and now let's make an observation we know that this uh, fb length uh, is uh, 15 whereas this whole uh, side length uh, ab is uh, 50 so therefore this remaining uh, segment uh, af is going to be 50 minus 15 is going to give us uh, 35 so therefore uh, this uh, segment af length turns out to be 35 units and now we can see that this uh, ef uh, is the base uh, of this uh, pink uh, triangle and that is our 20 and likewise uh, this uh, side uh, af uh, is 35 and this is the height uh, of this uh, pink uh, triangle so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, in this uh, formula so the area of this pink triangle uh, efg is going to be a half times our base uh, is uh, 20 times uh, our height uh, is uh, 35 units and if we simplify everything on the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 350 square units so thus the area of this uh, pink triangle EFG turns out to be 350 square units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.